The liver is the largest internal organ in your body. It's probably one of the most abused, if not the most abused, especially for the drinker. And it really has its work cut out most of the time. It goes through 1.5 litres of uh, blood every minute. Uh, and anything that you can do to help your liver, once you've stopped drinking especially, um, is going to help you to live a longer and more healthier life. So here are five foods that you should eat once you've stopped drinking alcohol. Number one on my list is onions and garlic. I eat onions and garlic in every meal, except my breakfast. I don't eat it with my porridge. Um, but every other meal during the day, I always put in uh, clove of garlic, a couple of cloves, I love garlic, um, or onions. And the, the qualities of uh, onions and garlic, you know, the beneficial attributes, as they say, are far too many to list. You know, if you want a rundown of the magic properties of either onions or garlic, then you know, you'll find plenty on the internet, so have a look. They do a great job in helping to clean up, to sweep up all the mess once you've stopped drinking. So try and include as many of those into your diet as you can. Second thing on my list would be um, water. Uh, mostly water with lemon juice. Uh, after a good night's sleep, with no alcohol in my system, I always get up with half a litre of water and squeeze the lemon juice. And not only does it rehydrate my system after, after my great sleep, but it, the lemon juice also helps to detoxify the system as well. Uh, the citric acid, I think. But um, you know, it just makes me feel good in the mornings. And I tend to try and drink around a gallon of water every day if I can. Plus I drink herbal teas and all that kind of stuff. So I'm getting a lot of fluids going through my body and it's all, it's all good fluids now, you know. Another thing that I've been trying lately is uh, just adding not only lemon to uh, hot water. So you get hot water, add some lemon, a bit of ginger and uh, you know, like a tiny drop of brown sugar or honey. Demerara sugar I like. <laughs> It's a nice combination, uh, just refreshing and I don't know, whatever it does to, to my system, it tends to agree with me, so I like that. Number three is beetroot. I was never a massive fan of beetroot because uh, the stuff that I used to always get was uh, in, that, in the jar with all the, the pickle juice, you know, nasty. You know, my mum used to give it to us on the... On the uh, in it with salads, any salads, you know, had to come with the beetroot, so I just never liked it. And my partner is Dutch, and she said, uh, we're having some beetroot. Said, no, I don't like beetroot. And then she showed me this vegetable that I'd never seen before, a beet. And it was actually quite nice, you know, it was completely different. Um, but the point is that it's full of antioxidants, so it's really good for your liver, apparently. So that's another one that I'd recommend that you eat. Beetroot, and not the jarred variety either, you know. Number four on my list of um, liver repair foods uh, is the humble apple. You know, it comes in so many different varieties. Um, and like the beet, it's got a lot of pectin in it, and the pectin is supposed to be good for your liver. So um, I wasn't a massive fan of apples. I must say, but we grew up on Granny Smith's and then I came across an apple called the Pink Lady and I was transformed. It was such a beautiful, sweet apple and I've since discovered one or two other brands that I, that I like. They tend to be a bit more expensive than your bog standard apple, but you know, an apple is an apple and if you can get the bit of entertaining taste while you're eating, then all the better, as long as it's highly nutritious. And number five on the list of foods that will help your liver to repair are artichokes. Um, artichokes are supposed to be really good for your bile production. They, they speed up your bile production, which helps in detoxification. Um, again, another vegetable that I was... I, I was always scared of this one, you know, because um, I just heard it was a lot of preparation. 
um, to get so little out of it. And you know, in all fairness, it is. You've got this, you've got this uh, cactus-like looking plant, and you've basically to remove all the outer leaves and some of the inner core once you get to the heart of the plant. But once you cook that, it's absolutely delicious. It's a really nice. I mean, there's different ways to do it. Um, I've seen people frying it up in butter, which I'm not too sure about, but you know, artichoke hearts, very nice. So the message is, once you've stopped drinking alcohol, be kind to your liver.